So today I'm making a vegetable soup. Great for vegetarians, and no meat in it. I've got several vegetarians in my family. Two sweet potatoes, four medium-sized carrots, some tomatoes and probably half a sweet red pepper. Quarter of a teaspoon of turmeric, which is good. A little bit of pepper. Half a teaspoon of Marmite. One vegetable cube. And my trusty favourites, red lentils. This is a 500 gram bag, but I'll probably use 100 grams. It's good for protein and of course it thickens your soup. And it gives it a lovely colour too. So I'm going to go off now and chop all this up. I don't think you ought to bother to watch me because I think that would be boring. So I'll be back in a minute. Okay. So I'm back. I've chopped all the vegetables. Just to recap, two medium sized, they, they were quite long, sweet potatoes, half a red sweet pepper, six small tomatoes, four medium carrots. And I'm going to add the lentils, the marmite, half a teaspoon, or perhaps a little less, depending on how hot you like it, of turmeric, and the vegetable cube, with a little bit of pepper. So the next thing I'll do now is I'll take my jug and I'll put some water in. Now I'll put that on the bottom because a very clever trick, it stops your soup from sticking on the bottom. So I've got the water in, I'm going to put my vegetables in, oops, I'm going to make a mess, I can see that now, <laughs> in you go, what's for supper mother, soup Susie, oh bother soup, I'm sick of soup, it's always soup for supper, just me being silly, right, there's my veg, it covers a good part of the jug. Now I'm going to put my dissolved Marmite, half a teaspoon in hot water and dissolve it in. 100 grams of lentils. Don't need to wash those. Some you do. Vegetable cube. Turmeric. Sounds a lot, but really it's quite easy. And some pepper. And I think that's about it. Now what I'll do is I'll go to the sink and I'll top this up to the mark. It has a mark, maximum. So I'm going to top this up and I'll come back to you in a minute. So all the ingredients are in the jug and I've topped it up with water to the maximum mark on my soup maker. I'm going to just put the top on There we are, there's the beep. Now, on mine, I don't know whether you can see. Oh, it's not on properly, there we are. I've got smooth, chunky, juice and blend. Now the first thing I do, and that's the reason I put the water at the bottom, is I blend it. And then it doesn't tend to stick to the bottom of the soup maker. So you press the word mode, and you go through the programs till you get to the blend. That's blend. And then you mix it. Then you pick what you'd like. The smooth, the chunky, the juice or the blend. Well, I'm going for smooth in this case. So I'm going to press my smooth. Press the mode. And that's on the smooth. That's the first program. And then I'm going to press on and our soup will make. There we go, it's on and it takes precisely 21 minutes. So the clock says 21 minutes. I can do the washing, make the beds, as long as I keep my ears open for the beeping. When it's beeped, your soup is ready. It's ready to eat. Now isn't that easy? Like I said, this is my favourite, or one of my very, very favourites in the kitchen. 
I'll show you when it's ready. That's all you have to do and then you unplug it. There we are. Now it'll be a bit hot. There we are, I've unplugged it and it's ready. Let's have a look. Take the top off. Oh, I wish you could smell this. It's beautiful. Oh, I'm hungry already. Let's pour some. Yeah, that's, that's a, a real soup consistency isn't it look at that do you know there's plenty for four and loads for two Let's see if we can get this equal amounts oh i just wish you could smell it it's Oh, it's delicious. Soup in 21 minutes. Thank you for joining me. Get yourself a soup maker. I tell you what, leave me comments. I'd love to know if you've already got a soup maker and if you use it regularly. And if not, if you're contemplating getting one. And some of your recipes even. I'd love to hear from you. Please subscribe to my channel, take care of yourselves, thumbs up would be nice and see you soon. Bye!